What's up guys? This is Nick Harrison with Rocky River Woodworks. Today I'm going to show you how to make a table saw sled. Um, this is a lot cheaper option than buying a name brand sled and it will do just as good in my opinion. So we're going to get started. All right, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is raise your blade just slightly above the throat plate um, and then make sure that your blade is indeed square to the edge of the table. Um, it's almost always gonna be, but just make sure that it is square. After you've confirmed that, you are going to start with your base of your table saw sled. I'm going to use half inch MDF um, just so, just personal opinion, I, I think it slides well. Um, you can use plywood, you can use, you know, whatever you want, but you can also make it whatever size you want. Um, this is the size that I'm going for. I don't know the exact dimensions. It's just a scrap piece of MDF that I had laying around. So make sure that it is square here on to the edge of your table saw. And then I'm using the Craig uh, fixture bars here. And we're going to slide those in the groove underneath the MDF as it, um, while it's laying on the table saw. So the next thing we're going to do is, after you've made sure this is square to the table, is bring the fence over and line it square and flush to the edge, uh, the right side edge of your sled base. As long as that's uh, square, flush, where you would like it to be positioned, go ahead and lock in your fence. What this is gonna allow us to do is pull the base back, but ensure that it is still square to the fence. So with that said, we're gonna slide the fixture bars out a little bit, um, but keep them in the grooves, but just slide them out some, and then slide the, the sled base out. What that's gonna allow us to do is get underneath and put a first, one, the first screw through the fixture bar into the base of the MDF. And now we're gonna do the same thing on the other fixture bar. All right, so one side of the fixture bar is in place. Just before we go any further, we're gonna make sure that the sled slides smoothly back and forth. And it does. It's gonna wiggle a little bit because we only have one screw in there. The next thing we're gonna do is take the sled up and turn it around 180 degrees. As you can see, we just have the first screw in here. That's it. We're gonna turn this around, line up the fixture bars, and slide it back in. All right. When you do this, you just messed up your whole squareness to the table. So to ensure this is correct again, line it up square, go ahead and put the fence back and lock it in place. Now that you've done that, we're gonna repeat the process. We're gonna pull the base out which the fixture bars will come out with it. And then we're just gonna screw in this side screw on the, through the fixture bar into the base. Undo your fence, get it out of the way, and make sure the sled slides freely what we have thus far. The next thing we're gonna do is to make a back rail and a front rail uh, for the sled. So for this, I'm gonna measure the length of my sled, or I guess the width side to side. Um, I'm right at 36 inches. Um, and then we're gonna cut some strips of uh, plywood, maple, whatever you'd like to use. Uh, you can use MDF if you have more of it, um, to that uh, width. And then we're gonna attach it to the sled. So one thing I forgot to mention um, is the height of that back fence and front fence on the sled. It can be whatever you'd like. Um, that part doesn't really matter. I don't recommend going too high with it because if you do that and your hands are grabbed onto that fence when you're using it, you're not gonna be able to reach to hold your workpiece in place when you're cutting it. So in my case, I had a scrap piece of three quarter inch maple plywood um, that was already at two and three eighths uh, thick, or I guess um, wide. So I'm gonna set my fence to two and three eighths and then rip down the rest of this plywood because this is perfect just to use up some scraps since I already had it laying around. All 
So I'm prepping to make the cuts of the uh, top and back fence rails on the miter saw station. To do this, I'm going to use my Craig uh, top track system with the production stop. I do have a video on how to install this. If you'd like to see that video, you can click up in the corner. I'll also leave a link down in the description. So I'm going to set my stop block to 36 inches. I'm going to cut four of these. Um, that'll be two on the front, two on the back. That's just to give it a little bit wider depth. Um, or make it a little bit wider, give it a little bit more uh, girth, a little bit beefier um, to use. So we're gonna cut four of these at 36 inches. So the next thing we're gonna do is attach these uh, front and back fence pieces, not only together, but also to the sled. To do this, I'm gonna put two of them on this side. Let's bring them where I can get it, reach them. And then two on this side. We're just gonna attach one at a time. Um, it might help if the darn All right, whenever you attach the fence piece to the sled, you have got to make sure that it is completely flush all the way across to ensure that it is square, meaning that it's square to the blades, you'll get a perfect 90 degree cut. Once you know that's correct, we're going to pilot hole, drill, and countersink, and then have a heyday with putting in some screws. Now let's go to the other side. Whenever you're doing this, drilling your pilot holes, the countersink part of it is very important to ensure that that screw head is flush or countersunk to the bottom of this so that it slides smoothly on your table saw. The last thing we're gonna do is take these last two strips and add one on the inside of here and one on the inside of there. Um, I'm just gonna screw these from the outside. I'm still gonna uh, pilot hole drill and countersink, um, but we're gonna do that from the outside just to add a little bit more beefiness, a little bit more sturdiness to the sled. One thing I forgot to mention, whenever you're drilling your pilot holes to attach these fences, as well as attaching it underneath, make sure that the screws either on the fence or on the sled are not in the way of where your table saw blade will be cutting. Probably won't end up good. So what we're gonna do at this point is to turn the blade on and very slowly raise the blade through this, cut it to here and stop. And the reason we're gonna do that is to check just to make sure that that blade is square to this fence before we cut our, uh, our line through the whole sled. When you're doing this, be very careful, go very slowly protruding that blade through the material. Um, this is a potential for kickback, so definitely go slow when you're doing it. Keep your hand out of the way. After you've made your cut, we're gonna put our square on here just to make sure that the blade is square to the fence. Some of you might argue that it's too late to check this. It's actually not, and the reason is because if for some reason this is off, you could take these fences off, trim up the edges, whatever you need to do to make it square. In my case, it is perfectly square. We're good to go. So now I'm gonna take the sled off, raise the blade up, um, probably about an inch and a half in this case, uh, just below, I'm gonna leave about three quarters of an inch between the top of this fence and the top of my blade. Um, that You don't wanna cut all the way through this because then your whole blade will be cut in half. So um, we're gonna do that, go ahead and make our cut, make sure it slides well, and then we're done. So now we have made our cut through the sled, making sure that we do leave some material up here at the top. You don't wanna cut all the way through cause that'll cut it in half. I'm gonna stop it here. If for some reason I have a work piece that I need something bigger, um, then I'll either put a bigger fence on here, undo the screws, put a bigger fence, or I'll just raise the blade and still leave myself enough room there. Some people might argue that you should uh, glue this together instead of screws. That's fine. Um, I'll just do this because it does work for me. Figure out what works for you and go from there. 
All right, guys, so that's the end of this project. The table saw sled is very basic. There's not a lot of uh, bells and whistles to it. You can go back and add that sort of stuff. You can have flip stops here with, you know, to make repeatable cuts. You can put the measuring tape, uh, adhesive measuring tape here. You could go back in with a flush, uh, flush trim router bit and square up these fences just a little more if you'd like. You can round over these edges so it's a little bit more comforting for your hands. I might do all that stuff, but for now, this works so I can get started on my next project. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up to like the video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave those in the comment section down below. And don't forget to subscribe if you found some value in this video. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at Rocky River WW. Uh, again, I'm Nick Harrison with Rocky River Woodworks. Thanks for watching.